Good morning and welcome to The Home Show. Mike Pace is my name and you know, Greater Des Moines is famous for summer festivals. The arts festival, the music festival, food festivals, cultural festivals, and Altoona doesn't want to be left out. They have Cornival. It's a little corny, but the reason being, the first acre of hybrid corn that was ever planted was planted in Altoona, Iowa 100 years ago. We're gonna find out more about that a little bit later. Talking to chamber people and people from the Arts and Culture Commission here in Altoona. Then Holly Krager from Iowa Realty will take me on a tour on a beautiful secret pathway through a backyard you will not believe and a wonderful property south of Grand on Robertson Drive. That's our special feature for the day. And of course we have Iowa Realty listings and open houses all around the metro that you can visit this afternoon, including Holly Krager's open from one to four. Stay with us. Mary Kay Michelson from Iowa Realty with a five bedroom, six bathroom, two story in beautiful Quail Park, almost an acre of the setting here. Look at that nice view. Uh, convenient, of course, to West Glen, the malls, the theaters, the restaurants, and so on, 955. Danny Junius in West Des Moines, five bedrooms, five baths, 3,500 plus uh, square feet here. This is Glen Oaks, Iowa's only gated residential golf community and a brand new price of $899.9. Sachi Kalra with a five bedroom, four bathroom ranch on the pond, nice view from those back windows. It's a walkout, four car heated garage, smart home technology here and a great uh, price of $889.9. Sachi can also show you this five bedroom, four bathroom home, story and a half, 3,500 square feet roughly. First floor, a primary bedroom, open floor plan, great room with fireplace, wonderful features and updates, 589.9. Frank Hansen with open house, noon to three. Ashworth Estates neighborhood here. Nice walkout ranch, better than 4,500 square feet here, including a three season porch and a triple garage and access to uh, shopping and schools. Holly Krager, four bedrooms, three baths, a rare ranch here at Scenic Point, the neighborhood. Custom built brick home, surrounded by mature trees. Brand new listing, you might want to investigate early. The price is $474. Deborah McGee from Iowa Realty, Mill Ridge, offers a nice lifestyle for townhome living here. This one sits on the end for extra privacy. Spacious uh, primary suite, total of four bedrooms, four baths, $350. Next up, Scott Steelman, one to four open house, wants to talk townhomes from CCS, find out why they're so popular. Each home with a passive radon system, two by six Energy Star certification, nine inch walls between you and the neighbor, 337 and change. AJ Calra, Waukee address, open house one to three, working with Paramount Homes, four bedroom, two story with side load, triple garage, the Cypress plan here. Ask about incentives up to $10,000 from the builder. Danny Junius now as we go to Waukee. This is Kettlestone Ridge, new neighborhood in Waukee. Nice open concept ranch floor plan here. Great room and kitchen. LVP flooring in many of the main living areas, 465 and change. Layla Frazee in Urbandale, contemporary here. Cutting edge design, top of the line features. Attention to detail, 17 foot ceilings, big windows, gourmet kitchen. Fabulous uh, home there for 729. Three quarters of an acre, the setting here, Allerton Park neighborhood in Urbandale, Mike Bray with a five bedroom, four bathroom home. Nice ranch with a walkout, overlooks a creek and trees. Waukee schools here, 10 zone irrigation system, 725. Jody Gallick in Urbandale with a five bedroom, four bathroom home. Long list of updates, fully finished walkout lower level, 3,300 square feet here roughly. Northwest High School nearby, immaculate condition, 575. Sharon Rooney in Urbandale with a four bedroom, four bathroom home by MJ Custom Homes, walkout ranch, Eastern sunlight, Anderson windows, engineered hardwood floors, wonderful primary bedroom tucked away on its own, 569. Kelly Glawe, four bedrooms and four baths in Urbandale, open concept living here, hardwood floors, stone fireplace, wonderful kitchen with double oven, maintenance free composite big deck and a price of 524.9. Chris Kay from our Beaverdale office says you'll see a lot of owner's pride uh, evident here. Well-maintained four bedroom walkout ranch, 2,430 square feet and a long list of updates. Johnston Schools here, 479. 
John Smith with a two-bedroom townhome in Meadowbrook in Urbandale, two bath areas, 1,232 square feet. Of course, the community pool, the recreational courts. It's a pet-friendly association and a price tag of $179.9. To Clive we go and Sharon Rooney with a four-bedroom, three-bathroom home with about 2,100 square feet on the main floor. Some great details, sophisticated ceilings, big windows, pantry of all pantries. Wait till you see it, 769. Steve Camerona, condominium living, a two bedroom, two bathroom condo on the second floor. This home is in pretty good shape, but frankly needs a little refreshing, but it's priced accordingly. Why rent, 124.8. And Lori Strum in Windsor Heights with a four bedroom, four bathroom home. Central location, mostly brick better than 2,300 square feet, uh, well-maintained, and uh, partially finished lower level as well, 369. I'm in beautiful Haynes Park under the gazebo in Altoona, Iowa, and we're gonna talk about the city of Altoona and Carnival, which is a big festival that goes on in the summertime here with my guests. Executive Director of the uh, Chamber here in Altoona. That's Melissa, and nice to see you, Melissa Horton. And uh, Jared Vincent is with us. He's the president, first year president, right? That's correct, yeah. But you're both hometown folks, and I think, you know, don't we love to brag about our hometown? Absolutely, absolutely. But, but I think it's getting easy, Melissa, for Altoona. It is, it is for Altoona. You know, we used to be considered a bedroom town, and I think we can probably push that aside uh, these days with all the growth that we're experiencing here in Altoona. Oh, absolutely. Super special for us from a chamber perspective. Um, this is a great time to be talking to us. We're putting together some efforts to revitalize our old town area. And uh, with that comes a lot of events and a lot of partnerships with our arts. Charm. And, that's right. Yeah. And a lot of uh, partnerships with our Arts and Culture Commission as well. So we're well, excited about uh, that. Uh, Jared, the schools, uh, you know, are, are uh, as good as they get. And state champions are just kind of an everyday thing here in Southeast Pole. Right. Yeah. Recently, we've had some great, uh, some great football teams. Yeah. Some really exciting prospects you bet. go on to uh, play at the next level. And then just recently, I saw um, some some fine arts awards that came out as well too from uh, the music department. That's so I just fantastic. to see that on both sides. That's fantastic. Wonderful. Good luck to your daughter in nationals too. I know Thank she's, you. She's getting some competition. <laughs> yeah. Molly Johnson is with me. She's with the Arts and Culture Commission here in Altoona and an artist. And boy, there's art everywhere in Altoona. Public art is a kind of a big deal, but there's something really special that happened 100 years ago that I want you to tell us about. Yeah, so the first hybrid corn that was ever planted commercially happened in Altoona 100 years ago. Wow. So we're going to be able to celebrate that this year with Cornival. 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 Uh, that's a little corny, but I love it, you know. And, and we have to mention that our vice president, former secretary of agriculture, uh, Henry Wallace, who was from Iowa, was part of that uh, ceremony, wasn't he? Absolutely. He was there in the very beginnings of this. And now here we are today, 100 years later, celebrating this event with 20 statues, 19 of which are adorned by local artists right wow. here from the metro area. Now we're looking for, there's some competition there with, with the uh, sculptures, but we're looking for sponsors for this summer celebration. Am, Absolutely, am I right? yeah. One of the best ways to get involved in this community event is to help sponsor um, the whole program. So throughout the summer, we have several events that will be celebrating this um, great, wonderful agriculture accomplishments, accomplishment with, and sponsorship is a great way to support what we're doing. Absolutely, good stuff. Altoona is in the festival business with Cornival all summer and the big kickoff on uh, July 4th, you won't want to miss. Thanks for being with me, Molly. Thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you as well. Aquí en Iowa Realty, puedo ayudarte con todas tus necesidades inmobiliarias. Chez Iowa Realty, je peux répondre à tous vos besoins immobiliers. Namaste, Sasrika. Mais Iowa Realty, which to adhikar vechen ati khiridan vech madad kar sakda. At Iowa Realty, I can help with all your real estate needs. My sirway inshan me yau yena pade bi luate kai samya ko chano Iowa Realty ma akau song ajo soya pe nai pade. Iowa Realty, yawa mamogu pomoch kupavanyam ili pradavanyam kuche. 
नमस्ते मैं आईवर रियल्टी में आपकी हर रियल स्टेट नीड के लिए हेल्प कर सकती हूँ धन्यवाद अस्सलाम वालेकुम انا في ايوا ريالتي موجود في خدمتكم لشراء او بيع اي عقارات سكنيه او تجاريه وشكرا تاي ايوا ريالتي ومن نغ مانزو ني سويو فان تان شي تشو دوبدان واي ايوا ريالتي يا موغو بوموتشي كوبي كوتشو الي ستان الي برودتي واشو كوتشو الي واش ستان ا ايوا ريالتي بوتسو يو تارتي كنتوتي لي تو ان سينجنسي ايموبيريالي Well, we saw this property up close and personal a week or so ago. Fantastic great Iowa home on three and a half acres in Johnston. Great marriage of convenience and privacy, and Karen Helgerson would love to give you the tour. A million twenty-five. Jamie Smith now three bedrooms and three baths. One owner and pride of ownership very evident here. A walkout ranch, nice view, brand new price of three fifty-nine nine, and a long list of uh, recent improvements. Again, three fifty-nine nine. Scott Steelman and Grimes with five bedrooms, three baths. Ask about a two-one buy-down in your interest rate with an acceptable offer on this nice walkout ranch. Quiet Grimes community, great schools, and a price of five sixty-five. Sarah Gaskell, something wonderful here on Thirty-seventh Street, south of Grand. One-acre setting for this wonderful, modernized, remodeled, uh, historic home. Room for a pool in that backyard. Lots of charm. A million two fifty. Convenient spot to、uh, downtown, the airport, Wakanda Club, Gray's Lake. In fact, this villa sits on hole number five of that beautiful Wakanda golf course. Amazing views, high ceilings, great、uh, luxury features. Nine seventy-five. Deborah Miller, open house one to three, four bedrooms and three baths, close to downtown and Gray's Lake. Lots of updates here, and again a view of、uh, Des Moines' premier golf course, Wakanda Club. And your own pergola and oversized deck, eight forty-five there. Holly Krager, with a four-bedroom, four-bathroom home, and we will see this unique property up close and personal in just a few minutes. And a garden walkway leads you to the hidden front door. Wow, six twenty-nine five. Well, a huge rooftop patio among the features here at this completely updated brownstone on Grand. B.J. Knapp loved to give you the tour. It's in turnkey condition. Three bedrooms, three baths, more than two thousand square feet at four ninety. This is Waterbury, beautiful neighborhood in the city, and this brick spacious home with four bedrooms and three baths, big square footage, nice open concept, a beautiful sunroom. Carolyn Linner from Iowa, really four seventy five. Gerald Steenhook with a four bedroom, two bathroom home, two story. It's had one owner for better than six decades, and it's been well cared for. It just needs a new family. Extra large yard, just a one block street, so quiet area, four fifty. Here's another awesome brownstone in the heart of downtown Des Moines. B.J. Knapp with three bedrooms, four baths, more than two thousand square feet, and yes, you saw the views from that rooftop patio. Of course, you can walk to the East Village and everything downtown, four twenty-five. Steve Camerona with open house, one to three. Get a view of the Wakanda Golf Course from this spot. Four bedrooms, three baths, 2,700 plus square feet on about a half acre. Lots of great restaurants in Gray's Lake nearby. 418. Three bedrooms and three baths. This is the Park at Southern Hills. Wonderful spot for this three-bedroom townhome. Of course, it comes with a swimming pool and clubhouse in the neighborhood. Workout area just minutes from downtown in Gray's Lake. 405. Alan Brown from Iowa Realty. As we go to the east side of the city in Brook Run, the neighborhood, four bedrooms, four baths, right at two thousand square feet here, and a price tag of three ninety four. Seven star HSA warranty comes with the property. Just outside the city limits, Norwoodville, to be specific, and the owner will install a new septic system、uh, prior to closing here. Three bedrooms, two baths, circular driveway, about eighteen hundred square feet. Heather Rollins from Iowa really two sixty nine nine. Danny Abakovich with a three bedroom, two bathroom home, completely renovated,、uh, light fixtures, windows, ceilings,、uh, fresh paint, new appliances.、Uh, lower level is finished, brand new roof, two twenty nine five. 
Kim O'Connor with a three-bedroom, two-bathroom home and a brand new price now of $225. The roof, the paint, the carpet have all been updated. They've added a couple of egress windows in the lower level. Oversized double garage. Good location, $225. Calling all investors, Teresa Knox says take a look at the potential here. An amazing Queen Anne Victorian that needs to be restored. Comes with a separate two-story office building and a couple of apartments on the property. East of Drake University, 200. Brianna Kelsey from Iowa really with a two-bedroom home. Renovated Waveland bungalow, if you will, with a nice kitchen, new floors, new cabinets, new siding, new roof, new windows, updated bathroom and bedrooms. Good location, 177. Steve Camerona from Iowa Realty, move-in ready home, in your budget, priced at $162.5 with a brand new roof, new water heater, all the plumbing is in working order, the light fixtures have been updated, fresh paint, $162.5. Marcus Serig now says, why rent? This could possibly be an investment property. Three bedrooms, nearly a thousand square feet, remodeled bathroom, a lot of updates, including the heating and cooling, $132.5. This is Ankeny, Karen Helgeson with a five bedroom, four bathroom, story and a half in the heart of Prairie Trail. High ceilings, private office, main floor owner suite, big kitchen with oversized island and pantry, lower level finish, 745. Connie Brown in Ankeny with four bedrooms and four baths, uh, big tall windows, extra high ceilings, gas fireplace, some of the nice features, better than 3,500 square feet here, almost new split level, priced at 730. Jody Holly in Ankeny, near Sailorville Lake here, this ranch, four bedrooms, three baths, double garage, extra parking on the property, spacious primary suite with a walk-in closet, updated lower level and a price of $369.9. Tammy Albright, two bedrooms, two baths, ranch townhome for you, 1,400 square feet, double garage, full basement here, lower level ready to finish for extra square footage and priced at $249.9. And Steve Camerona, a better than a half acre setting here for this ranch, four bedrooms and three baths near Ankeny Golf and Country Club and uh, needs some work. House is in rough shape, but it's priced right. Could be a terrific project. Price is 160. Find us on YouTube at Iowa Realty TV. Like and subscribe. I'm here with Holly Krager from Iowa Realty, and believe me, nobody knows more about this part of town, south of Grand, than Holly Krager and her partner, Carolyn Linner. And Holly, what a backyard, huh? It's so private. It's amazing, isn't it? It's just spectacular back here. It really is so quiet and private, and um, it just feels like it's all natural. It doesn't seem contrived like some backyards can be with over landscaping. Yep. yep. These are all perennials. And, you know, there is a little bit of weeding to do, but pretty much they take care of themselves. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, we have a wonderful home to see and lots to see inside. So let's move toward the deck. Yeah. Though. Yeah. And Holly, every room has a view of this home. Yes. Yes, they do. Yes. This breakfast room is phenomenal just to sit here with the skylight, looking out at all the greenery. What a great place to have Absolutely. informal dining. Oh, wonderful. And of course, the kitchen. This is where folks gather, and this is a gourmet kitchen, bonafide. Absolutely. These folks are foodies, and they built this kitchen to be the heart of their home. They have three kids, and you can just line them all up on the counter, eat it on the counter. Huge island. Yeah, great island. And plenty of and, storage. And Blue Star, a Blue Star commercial oven, which is yeah. gas, and people love that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, and there's a lot more to see, some living areas we want to investigate, so lead the way. And Holly, here's this big, beautiful, open living room. And you know, when homes were built in 1962, uh, I think they were ahead of their time because this feels like a contemporary home built today. Yeah, it's a great entertaining space. Yeah, and more beautiful windows on the beauty outside. And believe me, it's gorgeous everywhere you look. And we have this lovely travertine tile here, which is high quality, of course. And um, if folks are just thinking about this part of the of the city, this would be a wonderful place to move. Call your own. Yep. And upstairs we have three really nice sized bedrooms. They're all generously sized. There's two full baths. The primary bedroom has a sitting room, 
um, which could be a desk or just chairs and a, they've got bookcases and then a, a bathroom and a nice closet space. So there's a lot, and, but it's private, which is, which is great. And the fourth bedroom is really kind of a suite. It is. It's its own suite. It's off the family room, so it's private, and it has a, a full bath right attached to it. So if you have guests or someone visiting, it's perfect. Hannibal School nearby, the Roosevelt School District for high school. Um, just a wonderful part of the city. The Arts Center, downtown, Ingersoll Shops, all of those uh, uh, amenities of the city are really at your, at your yeah, doorstep. Yeah, it's right down the street. Yeah. Well, Holly, we could go on safari for a better place to have your morning coffee, but I don't know where you'd find it than I, this. It's I don't either. So lovely, that eastern sunlight. Uh, in review, four bedrooms and four baths. Tell, yes. tell us uh, square footage and some of the details. There's 3,360 square feet. There's three different levels, so that we have three different zones, which is great for heating and cooling. Mm -hmm. There's four bedrooms, three and a half baths, and uh, it's just travertine, travertine floors, hardwood floors. It's all solid surface, so it's easy, easy cleaning. One of the rooms has radiant heat, which is really great. And you know, uh, Robertson Drive here, just off uh, Grand Avenue, uh, so convenient to uh, downtown, the airport, and Ingersoll shops, whatever. Um, just an amazing property, and the price tag is six twenty nine five, and you can see it up close and personal today from one to four with Holly Krager. Thanks for being with me and giving us yeah. a tour. Thank you, Mike. You bet. Sometimes life changes quickly and you need your home to sell fast. Receive an offer with QuickBuy within two business days. No showings, no open houses, no market listing. Your qualified home can go from cash offer to close in as little as two weeks. Contact your Iowa Realty agent about QuickBuy today. Spotlight on Altoona today. Let's call it the home stretch. Alexis Johnson with four bedrooms, four baths. Price to sell at 315. Nice value here. A large open entryway, updated kitchen, sliding glass doors to the deck. Fenced yard needs a little TLC, 315. Chantel Cooney from Iowa really with a new price here, three bedrooms and two baths, and a new price of 295. Nice open plan, nice primary ensuite, couple of other good sized bedrooms, outdoor deck, again 295. Well, what a list of uh, features here. How about a 20 by 40 in-ground pool, pool house, fire pit, uh, of course, a beautiful kitchen, primary bedroom suite, six bedrooms, four baths and all, Jenny Overturf in Norwalk, 870. Angie Deemer in Norwalk, four bedrooms, three baths, nice ranch, backs up to Legacy Golf Course, white trim in the kitchen, gray countertops. This is a new listing, triple garage, some nice views, great schools, 495. Tiffany DeHaan, three bedrooms, three baths with a Norwalk address. We're talking townhome living here, about 2,000 square feet, a little better. Well-maintained, fresh paint, new listing. You might want to inquire early. The price is $370. Sean Preston with a Newton address, three bedroom ranch, three bath areas, well-maintained, move-in ready. Brand new listing here. Nice family room with dining area, kitchen, everything open there. Uh, lower level, partly finished, and a price of $259.9. Indianola now and Carrie Bishop. Uh, what a package this is, 27 acres, some of it in forest preserve, a 40 by 64 outbuilding and a couple of garages for six cars. What a package, a million two hundred. Ted Grobe also in Indianola, perhaps the lowest price new construction in the metro right here. Open house two to four today. And of course the builder is Savannah Homes. This is the Primo 3 plan from Savannah with tax abatement, 328.9. Tanner Lloyd now in Indianola, four bedrooms, four baths. A lot of curb appeal here. Stylish porch gets you into the home. Custom flooring detailing. Nearly everything is bright and open, updated nicely, move in ready, priced at just 305. Great opportunities in Dallas Center, 19 minutes to uh, Jordan Creek Mall, and a chance to take advantage of early growth in Dallas Center with those great Dallas Center Grime schools. Paul Barnes, open house one to four today. Paramount the Builder, 384.9 for this nice ranch. Deborah McGee will also be there. 
The bike trail nearby, Raccoon River Valley Trail, elementary school, walkable, the aquatic center nearby, and again, the growth opportunity in Dallas Center 398.9 with tax abatement. Gina Thompson with a Sheraton address about an hour south of the city, four bedrooms and two baths, store and a half home, move-in ready. Floors and appliances are nearly new, a four-car heated garage, 249. Kelly Glawe, this is Carlisle, four bedrooms, two baths. Of course, good uh, medium-sized school system here, just minutes to the bypass, long list of updates, and a price of 264.9 in Carlisle. Sachi Kalra from Iowa really in Boone, and you need to see to appreciate this property. Uh, over a couple of acres altogether here, a five bedroom, four bathroom, two story, and a 10,800 square foot detached garage, 499.9. Nick Scar in Adel with seven acres, the setting, Van Meter School District here, by the way. Uh, two story, completely updated over the past 10 years, geothermal system, updated bathrooms, open floor plan, 834. Chris K with new construction in Adel, the Jackson Ranch plan, triple garage, walkout lower level, two stone base points on that front porch, luxury vinyl flooring, 374.9. Here's a move-in ready three bedroom home in Redfield, Iowa, about a 30 minute commute to the city. Jessica Coyle from Iowa Realty, three bedrooms, 1,175 square feet, double attached garage, close to Raccoon River Valley Trail, good price, 215. This is Polk City and Lacey Sibley with a five bedroom, five bathroom home in immaculate condition. A big triple garage, 3,500 plus square feet here, hardwood floors, tall ceilings, stone patio, and a price of 649. Lake Panorama, fully furnished home here, spectacular property, three bedrooms, three baths, 16 foot ceilings, wonderful views, wood burning fireplace, uh, wow, and fully furnished, 699. Julie Campbell, now we go to uh, Hummelston, Iowa with a three bedroom home on six acres, close to 2,000 square feet in this story and a half with nearly new vinyl windows, new carpet. There's a 1940s barn and a pole shed on the property. Dexter, Iowa and Diamond Head Lake and Jessica Coyle here with a two bedroom home, 1,248 square feet sits on four lots. You have the boating, the fishing, the beaches, the golf, the ATV trails, and again, that lake and a price of 229. And Steve Camerona with a Mitchellville address, smaller home, nearly a thousand square feet here, one bedroom, big yard, there's a workshop and a garage, brand new listing, updated kitchen across from the park, Southeast Polk Schools, 119.9. Well, thanks for watching. That's the show for today. Thanks to the Altoona Chamber of Commerce and the Arts and Culture Commission for our conversation about Cornival and all the growth and activities happening this summer in uh, Altoona. Special thanks too to Holly Krager for the tour of that wonderful home south of Grand. She's open from one to four this afternoon. Don't forget us on Facebook and YouTube and at 10 o'clock every Sunday morning on Channel 5. Mike Pace till next time, have a great week.